If a Black Widow walked into a Venus flytrap, what would happen? Would the trap close on top of the spider and eat it whole? Or would the Black Widow be able to use its venom to squeeze its way out? Well, I'm going to be testing just that. Along with tons of other insect types, to see how strong Venus flytraps really are. Now, to get a Venus flytrap, you gotta, of course, buy one online. And so I found this website. There was two different options of stuff to buy. Ooh, this is actually perfect. I think I'm gonna buy both of these trap bundles. Then I'll be able to test the cheap and expensive traps to see which will be more effective at catching insects. So hey, I guess let me just check them out. And thankfully, only a couple days later, I got the traps delivered in the mail. After taking them out, I separated them into cheap and expensive. You can see the cheap Venus flytraps actually gave me quite a lot for just $10. And the traps themselves did look pretty healthy, big, and had that signature green and red color. Nice. However, over on the expensive side. You can see these are a bit different. They're not even packaged at all, and they look way more natural with moss all around the dirt. However, the main difference in these ones is that they're basically fully red. Like they literally look like an apple. But other than that, these traps mostly look the same. And hopefully at least one of them will be able to successfully trap a black widow. But before we test the Black Widow, we also got some other insects to test, starting with a fly. And thankfully, I'm a weird bug guy, so I just got a container of a bunch of flies, which might actually mostly be dead, but I think some are alive in there. First of all, let's get the plants in their testing chambers, and we'll be testing the strength of the cheap $10 traps first. Without wasting any time, I just put in a single fly and put 30 minutes on the clock. And if it gets caught before the time is up, I'll add in some more flies. But instantly, as you can see, the fly started to climb along the glass to try and escape. Thankfully though, I've sealed this enclosure shut. And once the fly realized that, he ended up going back down to the floor. Now this is where things get interesting, because the fly landed on one of the pots with all of the Venus flytrap plants. What makes Venus flytraps so effective is actually their nectar. Just like normal flowers, these traps also produce nectar around this little green lip part of the plant. And basically what it's designed to do is lure hungry insects in, and while they're eating the plant, of course, it shuts. And from there on out, the fly basically drained the 30 minute timer down all the way to three minutes by just standing on the glass. However, eventually he decided to explore near the cheap Venus flytraps once again. And this time, he got a little bit too close, because he stepped onto one of the traps. But the trap took a second too long, and the- You see, Venus flytraps have a very interesting system for how they detect prey and activate their jaws. Which I'll go more in depth with when the trap actually traps an insect. 
For now, the fly just sort of walked around on the dirt for the rest of the timer and, well, the cheap trap was a fail. Thankfully, over on the right, we got the expensive one though, worth 10 times more, and this should have a much better result. So I put in a new fly and let's get the timer started to see how quickly this guy gets caught. But after he tired himself out, it was time for the Venus flytraps to do their thing. Insta and that was proven because right after, the fly walked in one of the traps, but quickly it walked out right as the trap closed. Yeah, you can see in this instant replay, the trap may have missed the fly. But comparing the cheap and expensive traps, the expensive one closes way faster. But even with that, the spider was playing a dangerous game because all it needed was one bad step. But unfortunately, she would never get the chance to finish because she took a wrong turn into the Venus flytrap and it closed straight on her, almost perfectly. However, there were still some legs sticking out. To be honest, it didn't look good for the Black Widow and besides a few leg twitches. And if you thought that was cool, well, you got to see the expensive Venus flytraps. Interesting, because right after putting the Black Widow in, he instantly walked up to a Venus flytrap, and literally within the first 30 seconds of the timer, he stepped inside one of the traps. In my opinion, this one was even cooler to watch. And yeah, his legs were also just stuck sticking out of the sides of the trap. And well, hopefully that answers the question. Venus flytraps do beat Black Widows. Well guys, thanks for watching. You can watch another video by clicking there.